Here's a problem involving a table of values and we're told that the table shows values of f prime, the derivative of function f. So on this top row we have values of x listed in order and on the bottom row are the corresponding values of f prime. And although f prime is continuous over all real numbers, only selected values of f prime are shown. And that's these values on the bottom row. If f prime has exactly two real zeros, then over which intervals is f increasing? Okay, one uh, fairly quick and easy way to see what's going on with this problem is to make a little graph. So I'm just going to draw a line here. This will be my x-axis and these are the corresponding x values. You could mark them off down here, but the, the values that really matter are the values where f prime is zero. So I'm just going to draw a quick graph, something like this, and this isn't necessarily accurate, but right here at x equals one, and right here at x equals five, this graph has a value of zero at that point, and this is a graph, remember, of f prime the derivative of f and you can see in between these zero values it's negative and over here to the left of x equals 1 the values of f prime are positive and over here to the right of x equals 5 the values of f prime are positive and I know there are no other place no other places where this graph crosses the axis except for here and here and I know that because I'm, I'm told there are only two real zeros and there they are so it can't go back up be between 1 and 5 or before 1 or after 5. The graph has to be negative in this entire region and positive over here and positive over there. And then we're asked where f is increasing. And just make sure you keep straight in your mind the distinction between function f and the function graphed here, which is f prime. f, function f will be increasing wherever function f prime is positive and that's going to be over here and over here you can see where this graph is above the axis here and here so that would be when x is less than one or x is greater than five those values of x would correspond to positive values of f prime which would correspond to increasing values of f